For today's Monday Makeup Lesson, we're going to focus on how to apply eyeliner. This particular technique will work with any eye makeup look that you create, and it will also work with your eye shape. So let's get started. Let's talk a little bit about the shaping that we want to create with this particular look. All we really want to do is to deepen and darken the roots of the lashes, following the natural curve and shape of the lid, allowing it to be slightly tapered on the inner corner and also towards the outer corner. And you want to stop and start this line where the lashes stop and start. This is really about creating the illusion of definition rather than actually applying eyeliner. So here are some of my favorite tips. First thing is having a good mirror. And I would recommend using one that's magnifying and also non-magnifying. If you use a magnifying mirror, you can often create the wrong shaping. So make sure you're flipping over and back to see what it looks like up close and far away. Next thing is to rest your elbow on something for a little bit of support. This is particularly for people who have unsteady hands and this will make a massive difference. And you can also use your pinky for support. This will make sure to get rid of too much of that little shake that you might have. A couple of different ways that you can do it. You can use your fingertip on your pinky and rest this on your cheek. Or if you're left-handed or working on the other eye, you might need to switch your hand around and rest your pinky at the side. Either way, using your pinky for support will create a smoother line. Before you apply anything, I want you to get used to creating little strokes. So don't touch the skin and just practice a few little strokes working across the lash line in order for you to know the actual shaping that you're creating. Now if you're using felt tip liner, one thing I like to do is take a plastic lid and just squash it down ever so slightly to make sure it's fully saturated in the inky black liner. And now let's get started with the application. I always like to start in the middle, so right in the middle of the lash line, and then we're going to be working outwards. So ignore the inner corner for now, focus on the center and blend outwards. And you want to try to keep the liner as horizontal as you can against the skin, using that pinky for support. Work your way across. And we're going to continue the line, moving it slightly outwards. And this time I'm going to fold my pinky underneath. This will just allow me to get a little closer access to the outer corner of the lid. Now you can also switch your hand around and pull the liner in the opposite direction from the outer edge in to meet the center. This is a nice way to get that smooth line. Now when you're working on the inner corner, you want to make sure that it's a really thin line compared to everything else that you've done. A nice little technique for this is just to keep it a little higher so it's dropping lower across the lash line. This will just make sure you don't get a really thick line. And you want to start where the lashes start. Don't bring it right to the inner corner. Focus mostly on the lashes. And keep this line nice and thin. And there you go. This is almost an invisible eyeliner look. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want, but it looks great with so many different eye makeup looks because it creates definition. Now you might possibly make a little bit of an oopsie. My phone actually beeped, so that's why I did this. And I thought that I would show you guys how to fix this up without having to start all over again. I'm gonna be using a lip brush and also a dry Q-tip, and I've put a little bit of makeup remover on the lip brush. What we're going to do is basically paint over the top of the mistake and this will just break down that liner for you and lift it away. Depending on how much of an oopsie that you did make, you might want to have a tissue handy just to clean off the lip brush, add a little bit more of that eye makeup remover and then repeat as many times as you want. You just want to make sure it doesn't get too wet and that's why keeping a dry q-tip is really important just to remove any excess. And try to avoid makeup removers that are too oily because that will just get onto your lid and wreck everything else. Use a water-based one. Now you can see that the lid is a little bit gray looking, so what we're going to do is we're going to reapply our base and our shadow. Unfortunately, some liners can actually stain the lids and it can be very difficult without fully removing it. So what I actually like to do is take a little bit of a shimmering eyeshadow to cover up any mistakes because this will reflect the light for you. And there you go, that is the finished look. Just add some mascara and your lashes are gonna look really thick. Or you can apply some falsies and they're gonna blend really nicely. Either way, this invisible eyeliner technique is perfect for beginners, so give it a try. I want you guys to master this and then we'll move on to doing wings later. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.